Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Terraria. You know the deal. We're going to try to take out the Eye of Cthulhu uh, to get some more gold and demonite ore and all that fun stuff. And then after we take him out, we will take on the corruption. Of course, it's going to take a little bit before he, uh, he dies, so... Oh dear. Gotta kill these little guys there. A major problem. Oh dear. Fortunately, we have all sorts of armor now, and he doesn't do nearly as much damage as he would if we were, <laughs> you know, wearing less um, powerful armor. And we're using, actually, the Demonite bow that we got from him the last time we killed him. Um, actually, the the arrows, especially the flaming arrows littering the battlefield, are kind of cool. And I also like the fact that he gets set on fire by our arrows. Um, yeah, they only do, these little guys only do two damage a piece. Well, still. Oh, there he goes. Alright. He's in his rage mode. But he's really not that tough to beat, even with just the, the bow and arrow of all things. Ooh. That was not well played on my part, though, for that last hit. Even though he can't do that much damage, I'm trying to to dodge him just to, for the sake of the battle, you know. Uh, it's it's not a good habit to, to get into the habit of just, you know, while doing that. Oh, there he goes. All sorts of things we found. I'm going to go up here and collect... How did that happen? Oh well. It goes right through the roof anyways. You see that? My arrows actually went through the wall, it looks like. It's quite interesting. <laughs> Alright guys, well I'll tell you what. Um, once I collect these arrows, I'm going to pause it and I'll join you guys back at the Corruption. Hey, hey guys, welcome back. We are back on the edge of the Corruption. Um, hopefully the game won't freeze up or anything crazy like that. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to take out some of these bad guys. So, um, actually part of my game plan for uh, this, and this might be a little crazy, um, is to actually put some platforms across the top here and guard ourselves in with some wood here. What they'll do is force it so that um, that the enemies we uh, that the enemies that we'll face will be uh, oh dear uh, what's the word will only be people who and <laughs> I know I'm being really crazy cautious but again you know one like, I can't tell you how many times I've died in Chasms in the regular game. I tell you what I'm going to do. I know this is ridiculous. But until I see Botan, until I see the Botan, uh, it's, oh, used quite a few uh, platforms there. We can we can we can recollect some of those on the way back up, um, and maybe I won't do it quite so carefully. Actually, yeah, no, I probably will do it just that carefully, um, <laughs> just because, guys, you know, again, it's it's not worth losing the series for. Um, oh, hey, could he not get through that? Oh, no, he can. He definitely can. Um, it's not worth losing the series, though, just to, to save some some wood. So I'm going to turn all this into platforms. By the way, as you can see, we actually got a... Um, uh, 
a mana crystal. I don't know if you guys saw that. Might as well use it though. It's too bad there wasn't any... Oh, we don't even have um, a demon pick. Oh, I also made the war the war axe of the night, um, which is a nice little uh, addition, I must say. To my uh, inventory, because what it'll allow is for really rapid, well, rapid-ish um, collection of all of this wood while I'm very well uh, safe from uh, the onslaught of corruption enemies. Uh, I figured I would just collect some more of this wood so we'll have um, the ability, if need be, to... Uh, uh, what's the word? Um... I'm at a loss for words. You know, I thought I thought they said that since the new updates, they there's a hundred percent chance for um, for uh, what's it called for shadow orbs to spawn. Huh? The swarm. That's what they said. Very strange. I thought there was a 100% chance. I guess I was wrong. Guys, be sure to correct me if that if that is or isn't the case. Um, that would be an important mis misconception to clear up, you know, early on. I'm just going to collect some more of this stuff and some of these vile mushrooms. Okay. Wait for it. And yes, I I know I'm I'm going back to the uh, the clicking. It's just because I have to switch back from these things. Is all. Oh dear! I should put that. Uh, I should put that there. Collect this real quick. Hopefully, this doesn't, doesn't kill me. Okay, that's not worth collecting then. All right, let's see what we can do. quite a few of these guys. Oh gosh, they're coming from every which way. Good thing we have our, um, oh, what's it called already? Being very careful in my descent. And I guess I'm not going to build platforms all over the place per se, although I will put some into places where it seems a little dangerous. Like here, <laughs> I know it's probably it's it probably looks ridiculous. How? Oh dear, that startled me. Hey, there's demon altar over there. I didn't kill him. These guys are tough. Got some warm teeth though. Just cool. Wrong button. Careful with that. Three. Oh, it looks like there's a little cavern down here. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, sure enough, we've entered into a corruption sort of crazy corruption cavern of some sort. No doubt it is filled with treasure and demonite and lots of evil. So even though we can't probably get to the um, let's see how deep that is.
very carefully using the grappling hook. Again, because this is this is quite a drop. Alright, take this guy out. The corruption's a very dangerous place. Some more death weed. Oh dear. A corrupt goldfish? What? I didn't realize these existed, and they're really mean. Wow. Uh, wow. So we're all the way down here just to get one Shadow Orb, and I don't think we have any way of getting to it, unfortunately. We don't have any dynamite. Um, but we can duly note that this is the location at the, the bottom of this deep chasm. Getting out of here is going to be a bit of a hassle. Let me put a torch here. Where's this guy coming from? He's quite mean. Ah, there it is. Oh gosh, another one of these guys. As in the corruption, they have just a lot of enemies. I feel like we're pretty well prepared with the gold armor. Um, you know, it's 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 not it's they're not doing enough damage that I'm worried about them killing us per se uh, with the exception of the the deep drops of the chasms of course oh, hey this is our uh, sorry for that noise by the way it's my my dog as per usual it's our first demon altar but we don't have anything we can make here so it's worthless to us currently and if we could just find some, uh, if we could find like a treasure chest full of dynamite, that would be great. I have a bunch back at the base, but I didn't even think to bring it, so we'll just have to make a mental note of where, uh, I believe, yeah. Okay. So basically, there are two pearls. One here, which you can see right next to the demon altar, and one at the bottom of that chasm way down there so we'll mark that that should suffice and we'll also mark this way I'm just putting a lot of torches down I figure that should suffice as a mark that down and um, down and up are full of goodness. Alright, let's see. Oh boy, it's almost sunset. I don't, I don't want to get caught in the corruption like during a blood moon or something. And uh, I think the, the big thing we need to, to move on to the, the next part of the game, really, is the, um, oh, what's it called? The, um, the Shadow Scales from the Eater of Worlds. So we might just have to summon him by collecting a bunch of stuff. Um, so, uh, depends on that. It's kind of an interesting, I don't, I don't typically think of there being a lot of water in the corruption. We have watery corruption. And some of this stuff. Oh dear. Rather aggressive. Okay. Calm down. Seriously, people. There's some copper down there. 
no real need for that. So, we'll continue exploring while we still have a little bit of daylight left. We are actually owning these guys, though. Um, which is a nice part of this. We do have to collect some vile mushrooms. So this is our third chest. Oh, there's a jungle bat here. So it looks like Beyond the Corruption is an above-ground jungle. Uh, I'm not going to explore that chasm right this second. So we're getting some jungle creatures spawning in with... Uh, I'm not going to light it up. That'll, that'll indicate to me that it's not been explored. So that's the end of the corruption, and we are, lo and behold, we are in the above ground jungle, which is, is almost certainly um, connected to the underground jungle. We're obviously nowhere near prepared for the underground jungle yet, so we're not even going to think about going in the underground jungle. But um, I'll, I'll take a little look at the above ground jungle. These enemies are going to be a lot harder to beat, though. I mean, even the bats are doing some significant damage. So, um, and it is also night is falling. But let's, uh, let's take a look at what we can find in here. A lot of times it'll be above ground deposits of stuff. Oh, we got some zombies. So it is night, in fact. Oh boy, a snatcher. I don't know if they drop anything. We got some Moonglow seeds. Uh, I really need to look into the alchemy stuff in the game. I, I'm just not I'm not good with alchemy. I don't know all of the things. Oh, look, there's a, a zombie swimming down there with the piranhas. That's kind of cute. Okay. Let's see if we can't kill this guy. Oh, this is a weird... I would not be surprised at all if there was like a floating island above us. Because this is quite a... Um, quite a weird... Oh dear. I'm going to get that in a second. Now, I really wish I had the... Um, Oh, what's it called? The, the meteorite shot with the guns and stuff, you know? I feel like that would be definitely a place worth looking at in the future. Because a lot of times they say that, you know, you can detect where floating, floating islands are, not just by the meteorite shot, but actually with, um... Oh, what's it called? Uh, if you look at the... So we got to be careful, this is probably an entrance to the underground jungle. So, let me just knock that zombie into oblivion. That's pretty cool. I have to admit, it's not very well lit out here. Oh dear. Do you see that? A little school piranhas? Huh. Well, I don't know if there's going to be that much for us to find out here in the jungle, really. I keep forgetting you can you can put torches on trees. Oh dear. I was about getting ready to to hit the um oh gosh, what's it called? The the magic mirror there. Don't wanna cause anything too bad to happen. So I don't wanna die. I can't really see down there, so uh Alright, so let's see. Tell you what, I'm gonna get this moon glow and um unless I find anything really striking in a second here. Oh, there's another moon glow. Yeah, I think I might actually head back to base and call it an episode, get that uh TNT for next episode. 
Oh, that, oh gosh, using explosives is, 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 I sort of had a rule against using explosives for the hardcore series, just for the sake of explosives are really dangerous. So, alright guys, well I tell you what, I am, uh, oh, okay, well, I'm too curious to end the episode, I just want to see what's out here. Because this is all unexplored territory, and you, you never know what the landscape's going to be like, and what you're going to find out here. I mean, sure, there probably won't be any, like, awesome treasures or anything, but, um... It's really tall... Oh, no, no, it's not. So, for a second, I thought that was a lot taller of a tree than... The oh, dear. Okay, okay. Um... I really should call it an episode. I just... I'm so curious to see what's out here. I want to know. I want to know if the if it's the the dungeon on this side or not, or if this is just the ocean. And it looks like we're about to find out, actually. Well, I would call that the ocean, although a very weirdly shaped ocean. Uh, if you, especially if you look right here at this little... Okay. Well, I'm gonna head back to base. So now we know the ocean's to the left, so that means the dungeon must be to the right. That'll be good for future reference. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching and take care.